The midterms are coming up in less than a month, and today we're meeting Liz Brown. She's a Republican member of the Indiana State Senate, representing District 15. She's running for re-election. Good morning, Liz. Thank Good you morning. for joining us. Thanks for having me. So, where is home for you? You live in Fort Wayne now, but you're not from here. No, I grew up uh, in Pennsylvania, but I've been here almost 30 years, so raised all of our children here. And you have how many children? We have seven. Seven. Congratulations. That's Thank fantastic. you. Fantastic. So, I was doing a little bit of research and I saw that you have a couple of pets that have interesting names. Yes, well, we, we have two cats, and our sons name them. Uh, I know, it's crazy. One's Walker, Texas, and the other's Texas Ranger. Now, I gotta be honest, I don't know which one's which, <laughs> so no, they do. I totally but. understand. So you live in Fort Wayne now. How long have you been here? Since 1990. Wow, so mm -hmm. you've been, I did read that you were heavily involved in um, many organizations here in Fort Wayne. Can you talk to us about some of those? Yes, well, you know, like most people, when our children were young, I got involved in their schools, and then I got involved with the Boys and Girls Club here, which is a great organization, and then on Parkview Hospital's Ethics Committee, and then eventually I ran for City Council and got more involved in the political side of things. So what do you do for a living other than being in the state? A state senator? <laughs> yes, being state yes, senator. Yes, because we are part-time legislators. Right. People don't realize that. So we're, we're down there in session January to April, January to March, um, and that's pretty much full-time. And I've gotten a little busier with some of my assignments. I'm on the budget committee, so... That's always a big one. But I'm also a licensed attorney, and I do some mediation. Fantastic. Uh, so it's great. So you're busy doing a job, the state job, all of that. But what do you do for fun? Um, well, my husband and I like to walk, uh, ride bikes, things like that. And, uh, and frankly, uh, with our children now out of school, we spend a lot of time tracking them down and going to visit them. <laughs> Is there anywhere specific that they're at that you enjoy visiting the most? Um, well, they're kind of all scattered around, so they, and they move a lot, so it's kind of a constant, a constant effort trying to keep up with of them. Of course. So I like to do a little fast round. Okay. So it's pizza or wings? Pizza. Pie or cake? Man, that's tough. Pie I'd have tough. to have a half a slice of both. I think. I know. That's <laughs> I like not, that yeah. answer. <laughs> and then the St. Joe, the mommy, or the St. Mary's? St. Joe. Why? Uh, because I went to Notre Dame and the St. Joe was there as well. And, can, that's one of my husband and I first dates. We went canoeing oh, together. Oh, that's so. fantastic. So if there's an ideal weekend you would have, it sounds like it might be on the trails at along the St. Joe. Is mm -hmm. there anything else you could see your ideal weekend being? Um, I don't know. You know, there's so much fun things to do around here. I, I try to promote that. Um, there's so many outdoor activities. I'd have to say one of the fun things is going to the Follinger Theater mm -hmm. for an outdoor concert. That's a pretty cool venue. Is there any misconceptions about you out there right now that you'd like to clear up? I don't I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, that's a good thing. That's <laughs> not a bad thing. So, um, bucket list item. Is there one thing on there that you have on your top of your list that you got to get done? I, I'm not a bucket list no. person. I, I, I kind of, I'm pretty happy doing what I'm doing, and I, I've been pretty fortunate, so. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Thank you so much, Liz. We appreciate it. Incumbent Liz Brown is running in the Indiana State Senate District 15 general election on November 6th. She faces Democratic candidate Kathy Zuwa. Visit Wayne.com later today to watch this interview again. We'll be right back.